Hello and welcome to part 15 of this rating run on chess.com where I will play a rapid game of 15 minutes with 10 second increments added after each move. And uh, before I begin, I would like to thank all viewers and subscribers and remind them to uh, leave a comment with their vote for the greatest chess player of all time. And I will do a video on that great player for the upcoming 150th video for this channel. Okay, so let's find an opponent here and dive into this. Okay, we have the black pieces. And so they play d4. So d5. All right. Hmm. They play that move off to the side. So we'll just continue developing. And then we'll do that. All right. So we'll do this. See what they decide to do next. And then after castling. <coughs> All right, now, do we move the queen there, or do we just bring up this other piece? I think, hmm. I'll go here. And see what they do next. All right, well. Do we try to get some attack going here? Um, hmm. Oh, might as well just develop the rook. Okay. So he attacks there. And... We could just counterattack with that. All right. So then, do we jump in there after his piece? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Well, we could try attacking. Let's do that. We'll try a counterattack. See how that goes. So he captures. We will recapture. We can push forward here. Do we chase his knight out first? Maybe we chase his knight away first. Uh, we'll just do, we'll do that. Now we can attack his knight. Okay, so he attacks there. I guess we could block with a pawn. Would that be best or not? 
Flock with a pawn. So why not? Why not just block there like that? All right. Hmm. So now he's trying to threaten to come down into the position. So let's just reduce the material because now we're ahead. So we might as well just trade off and let's see what would be best to do here. Probably to hmm, just start using this open h file for my rooks okay okay well boom, boom. let's start going after that h file Okay, so now he's jumping over to there. And I don't really see that doing too much. So, what should we try to do here? We'll do that. Okay, and now I can just, hmm, block that. With this move, and pile my other rook up there. If he moves his bishop up there to help back it up, I can pile my queen in there to put more pressure on. Okay, so he does not see that threat, and so he just moves there. So it looks like we can just go here, attacking his queen. The queen will have to move back, and then, oh, he's in trouble now. He'll have to capture with his rook. Okay, and so now we can go here and now threaten to attack his king. Oh, his rook is protected by the bishop. So, still we can attack. So we can go here attacking his queen. All right, and now I think we can just attack that. And if he takes, we can capture his bishop. Oh, sorry, he can't take. He just pushed forward. All right, so now 
Um, what shall we do here? We could put our bishop into this spot here, which looks good. I think that looks good. So we'll go there. And that'll cut off his king from being able to try and escape. All right, and now we can just go right there. All right, what is the best way to jump into his position? I guess to just move my queen up. All right, just move my queen over. Let's see. Yep, I might as well start attacking. So I'll go there, threaten to move my queen up and start chasing his king around. All right, do I ignore that? Um, yes, I can. Well, I can do that. And then if he pushes this pawn, I can just capture with the bishop. Okay, and so now I can just, hmm, capture again. I mean, why not? Why not capture? Just keep capturing pawns. So now he's kind of stuck. My queen can jump up here unless he tries to block it. Huh, so he goes there. All right, well, now we can give him some trouble by jumping the queen into the game. All right, so we should be able to give him some problems with that because we're threatening to jump up and check his king on h1 and once the king moves then we can capture the g2 pawn All right, so yeah, now he's just in trouble. Unless there's anything crazy that I overlooked. Let's see what is going on here. Okay, so he does that. And now I can just capture with a pawn or the bishop I mean might as well just capture with the pawn do we have anything better so if we check him and we check him again let's see do we have a mate threat so check or check here on h1 or h2 and then he would have to jump down to here check him again and would that be mate because here and here i think that would be it boom boom Yeah, so I think it's checkmate. If we just capture, or we go up here, check. He's got to move to here, and then check with the rook. And 
he can't go anywhere because this pawn cuts off his escape. All right. Okay. So we won that game. And I think I'll stop for there since I had some other videos today that were kind of long. So I'll keep this one short, just one game. And uh, we'll do a game review though. So let's do a quick game review. And as it calculates, Looks like I had 89.5 to their 79.3. So sudden, great win. You saw your chance and took it. Start the review. All right. Yeah, they played, I don't know, some wasting moves, moving this pawn in the beginning. So knight to e4 was an inaccuracy. What would have been better there? Um, to just, hmm, so if I didn't play that, what would have been better? Let's see what the best move, well, here, we'll retry that. So after they go there, maybe it wants me to capture here and then move the knight here. But I don't know if that's any good. Hmm. Maybe it just wants me to capture. So does it want me to just capture this to trade off a piece? That would be a mistake. I missed an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. Okay, so retry. Strike at the center with a pawn. Maybe I just push forward here. So that's probably what it wanted, was to just push forward there. So c5 is the best. And so in d-pawn games, pushing the c-pawn um, for white and black is a common theme that occurs in these queen-pawn openings. So that's something to remember, not to restrict that pawn you know, and maybe push it two squares instead of one, and then a second one, uh, do it all at once. But anyway, let's see what happened next here. All right, uh, it just jumped way into the uh, future of the game without, hmm, without going over everything. Yeah, at this point, I was just ahead. They made that mistake of trading those pieces earlier so I don't, that was their mistake when they gave up uh, I think it was a bishop over here and they thought they had an attack but I was able to just stop it and then then I was just ahead in material all right well they had a 1450 1800 all right so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, this uh, part 15 of this rating run, where I'm just slowly trying to increase my rating in these rapid games on chess.com. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave comments, especially uh, your vote for the upcoming 150th video. Uh, vote for the greatest chess player of all time, and then I'll do a game review of that uh great chess player for the 150th video on this uh, Nick Butts chess channel. Thank you everyone and have a great day.